What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and we're back in Space Engineers and I just got a quick one for you today because I've been back messing around with wheels again as I like to do and initially what I was doing was trying to build a rock crawler sort of thing you know combining elements from my old like rock -a bogey crawler thing alongside the idea of a proper articulating chassis and control over the whole lot using Digi's control module and it's kind of working out but as I tend to with these designs, about halfway through, I got pretty bored with it because it was being a bit troublesome, decided to have a break. So I broke out the old General D. And if you guys haven't seen that, I'm gonna link the video up here. That thing's kind of cool, like multi-level suspension platform. Drove that around for a bit and thought, you know what, before I do anything else, I'm gonna quickly throw together the General B but with this chassis, what that thing from the group survival would be like if I rebuilt this chassis smaller, because it would kind of need to be, and then built something that was kind of with exactly the same ethos, exactly the same thinking on it, that's the General B, which is what you're kind of seeing coming together in the background. Now, at the same time, I also have a work in progress racetrack map that I've been doing on the stream here and there. It's actually been going on for a few months now because it's quite big and, you know, I do different things as we go. And I figured, that makes a really nice test bed for this to see whether it really works and what different surfaces it works on. So let's jump in, have a look, test the thing out, and I can show you a bit of how the B 2.0 works at the same time as giving you a bit of tour of the work in progress map. So what I've got in front of me here is a mess all up and down the start finish straight, basically. On the left you can see current actual progress, and on the right you can see a lot of things that are loosely connected together with rotors, some of which work, some of which don't, but that's the work in progress for the crawler up there, and we're not gonna look at that because it's a bit messy at the moment. But what we are gonna have a look at is this, and we're gonna start off with the chassis underneath it, because this is basically what's gonna sit underneath that thing, or what is sitting underneath that thing, and trying to do the same thing the General D did, which is by having multiple levels of suspension, so these inner set is actually raised up off the ground but have really really stiff suspension the outer set is on the ground the whole time but has softer suspension and it means that at any point this compresses these middle ones take up the slack and doesn't allow the whole thing to slam into the ground which of course is a pretty good idea and what we ended up with was this one over here now i will admit the looks have suffered a little because this chassis is a bit of a nightmare to work with you've got all these wheels down the center now, if we come around to this side here, you actually see that you know, there's wheels literally in the middle of the whole thing. And what it does is make it really wide. And so from some angles, she kind of looks all right. Like from this angle, eh, that's not so bad. This angle, not so bad. You get head on and you start thinking, Ooh, that's a bit weird. And it's the same, unfortunately, from top down. So it does mean that the driving position, you get to see a really slightly odd looking backside. But what I did do, and I don't know why I did this, but hey, it makes it slightly more fun, I guess, if we can find the remote control, is fit her with indicators and brake lights that work when you turn left and right, etc. So as you can see, turning left, that indicator, turning right, that indicator, press space, or hold backwards, you get the brake lights on. Yeah, I thought, why not? So let's take her for a spin and do a bit of a tour of the map at the same time. Ignore the mess on the right-hand side there. That actually functions, but yeah. Needs more work before we're going to do anything with that and see if we can't take this round the race map. So the race map's got two different routes in a lot of places, just to give a bit of variability almost. And I was trying at least to make them work evenly and equally so you wouldn't get an advantage, but in reality, you wanna come this way on this map the way I've gone. Now the wheels are really jerky on the uh, tarmac, whatever you wanna call this, blocks, because they've been set up mostly for dirt, as you can imagine, but if you take it easily, don't try and go too fast, then you're kind of all right. She flies really quite well. <laughs> oh yes, she flies well. Let's see if we can make it. Yeah, come on. I've made it way beyond where I intended, but fortunately, and the whole point of this sort of chassis and wheel layout is that it takes a pounding. It does not give a damn if you smash it around. There are limits, of course, but they're pretty high in comparison to your average ground vehicle. What I might do is put, oh, here we go. We have actually lost some wheels. I knew I was gonna be able to do that as soon as I did anything. But hey, that was a pretty nasty bit of rock that came out and hit just that set of wheels. What I might do with this is put some thrusters on it, push it down into the ground, because I don't know, it's a bit floaty. It does seem a bit like cheating when you do that, but uh, maybe it'll help. As you can see though, it's capable of smashing itself around. Really kind of annoyed that I managed to break those two wheels off, but hey. At the same time, you kind of get the idea that that was a bit of a one-off. 
just caught it wrong. Whereas these, it's like, yeah, no, that's fine. It has got gyros for air control. Otherwise, you'd be screwed. Come on. No. Uh, 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 okay. Space. Come back to me, space engineers. Come back to me. So what it also is, apparently, is a perpetual motion machine. It, it has multi multifaceted many uses for this wonderful machine right here. Are you just going to spin until you break yourself to... I'm... I, I shouldn't be surprised, but I kind of am still. Okay, let's ignore that one, fortunately. Hey, look, there's a fresh one here. And this one isn't violently spinning. <laughs> what on earth? Go, go, go. The whole point of this was just to have a bit of fun and have a look around the track at the same time. I mean, this vehicle... It's pretty good. It's not bulletproof, but it's pretty good, to be fair. It'll take a pounding that most land vehicles wouldn't without too much issue. And if you land it nice and flat, you're mostly okay. Yeah, if you land it upside down and smash the uh, whole top end in, it does break. Not surprisingly, are we going to have to go up this little rock side? Whey! Space engineers and its weird, catchy wheels drive around and just keep digging in sideways. Kind of annoying. It's partly because I've got sort of the friction and everything turned up really quite high. The friction and power turned up quite high so that when we go up this sort of stuff here, I can still make it. Whee! That's an interesting position. Okay, let's drive up that way then. Nice. <laughs> Hold it. Yeah. And then we go up this bit. Now this bit was kind of designed to really be a test of whether or not you could climb and crawl. Now I'm going to have to use the gyros plenty to keep it straight, but when you do, yeah, no worries. You can kind of, interestingly, you can of course see what I'm doing with my left and right controls based on uh, the indicators, so I shouldn't really need to mention that. And then we've got this sort of hill climb section where she's almost rolling over. I think what I might do, to be honest, is take the wheels are all grouped like you'd hope, and we've we've lost our centre wheels completely. So just back and front, I might take these and turn our friction down a little bit. That's a bit extreme. Power down a little bit. It'd be nice if there was some way of doing that stuff on the fly a bit more conveniently. I guess the move it script might be the answer for that. And then she comes up. Can, of course, if you're feeling cheeky, use the gyro to turn. He says, then noticing that it's not turning, we've got too much friction. This section is a bit tight, I think. I was using Sectarn's modular roads to get the roads here, and they're just, this is the size they come in, but in reality, I think it's a big, bit small for space engineers. You'd want it just maybe twice as wide, and then you could actually legitimately fit a decent number. Because as it stands, like I can just about fit around this, but I wouldn't want to be trying to put more people on the track at the same time. You're not going to be doing a huge amount of passing if I'm sitting in the middle of the track with this lump in the way. So she comes around to the top. This section a bit slow, apparently. I've got a better car for this, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is the B2.0, this thing. Which is doing alright. Oh, this version's got his wheels back, of course. So, let's get up onto here. Another route split. You've got to be careful because that is a wall. You've got to go around it. And then you can either take that way, which is quick but deadly because it's got a big old jump. Or you've got to make it down this, which is really deadly as well because it's so rough. You can see the jump to the left there. That jump is deceptive. The other thing that's deceptive is this lip at the bottom here. You've got to be wary of that because that'll launch you too. This thing handles it without too much difficulty. Screw it. Screw the track. I'm going this way. <laughs> I know where the track goes. I'll pick my own path. Oh, Jesus. No, no. No. Ah. Okay, that, that backfired. Chances of us getting down this in one piece, I reckon pretty slim, but let's give it a go. Oh, we almost had it to the end. Almost the end. If it hadn't fluck, sort of flung round like it did, that was blatantly going to have made it down. So there you go. Silly vehicle. Silly track. There is a bit more of it, but hey, I'll save that for the point where it's actually a bit more complete and I can show you it in its fullest rather than anything else. 
that wasn't really the point of this. The B 2.0, if you want to have a mess around with that, that'll be up in the workshop. It is quite fun. I managed to show you it breaking more than anything else in this, but hopefully you got an idea that it was breaking in some scenarios where other vehicles wouldn't have even got that far. So you get an idea at the very least. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you did like this video, please hit like, please hit subscribe. It really helps me and the channel out. And if you didn't like it, you know where that dislike button is. But please also leave a comment let me know how I can improve. So thanks a lot, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.